And then let's talk about markets. How do you mm -hmm. find uh, what markets you want to, to kind of be in um, as it relates to, to self storage? Are all markets created equal basically on this? Um, or are there markets that are better than, than others? Yeah, you know, there's a there's a couple of ways of answering that, Jose. And, um, you know, everybody's always looking for, you know, what's the best market, Scott? You know, where should I be looking right now? And uh, the answer is always your backyard first. You know, begin looking in your backyard because um, I, I see there's multiple ways of answering that because, um, you know, a market is, you know, we consider, you know, what does that look like? Ventura is a market, obviously. Um, you know, so is Sheboygan, Wisconsin. But so is a, a two or three mile radius of this facility that you're looking at. You know, somebody answered your mailer and now you're going to do a market analysis within three miles. So how do you know if it's a good market or not? Well, uh, there's a supply index. It's a measurement of the amount of self storage per square foot per person or per capita in that market. And so equilibrium in our industry is somewhere around six and a half to seven and a half square feet per person, depending upon which consultant and which magazine you read. Uh, but that is usually where supply equals demand. If it's a market in which there's only three square foot per person, well, it's an undersupplied market for self-storage. If it's at 10, it's a it's an oversupplied uh, market. So that's how we determine uh, a market to invest in. We kind of back into it after we find a deal. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking now specifically for a market that you're going to focus on, then, you know, any growing market, um, any growing market that we want to go into, just like, you know, probably any other form of real estate, you know, we want to be in the path of progress. Mm -hmm. So we get to be, you know, first, to you know, get best choice of land, be in the path, you know, where everything is coming up, get the land a little bit cheaper than once a, it becomes an infill location. And um, then looking at the the current competitors, even if they are several miles away, you know, are they holding a pretty good uh, rent rental rate per square foot that will support building a new facility or buying an existing one? So again, a number of factors that, you know, we could easily take an hour just talking about market analysis, but we back into it after we find a deal and then any other market out there that you're looking at that has growth is one, uh, but don't overlook your backyard. The grass isn't always greener. <laughs> no, that's kind of what I tell people myself too, about uh, a lot of people want to invest in a market. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm able to find some good deals in my area and basically just by knowing that there are good deals, that they're mm -hmm. rare but I want to be the guy that when a good deal comes up, I want to be the guy. So I tell people I can find five, five to 10 good deals in my market in a year. I want to mm -hmm. buy three or four of those good deals. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, That's fair. Mm -hmm. And if I could do that, then, then I'm pretty, pretty happy with good that. Good model. Yep. Uh, yeah. so you said that equilibrium is at six. So how would you, uh, would you just look up the population for that? Hometown <laughs> and then basically look up how much uh, self storage there is or mm -hmm. How would you go about doing that? Is that like LoopNet, CoStar, or are there certain platforms that you would find this information? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all, all, all the above. So, um, you know, we, we can back into that uh, once we find a, a site that we're interested in. Of course, it's not real easy when to draw, you know, a circle around that, but we can. We, we've got um, tools. We, we pay for Yardi Matrix, uh, which is a very expensive uh, software tool that we can model out and find out who the competition is and compare that against the, uh, against the population. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it on your own, and then you draw a circle around it. You can get census data, go to citydata.com or some of the other, um, oh, you probably know better than I do, something places, I, for, I forget what the other one is. Um, and then you, you Google map the rest of the facilities in that area within a three mile radius. And there's a drawing tool if you go to um, uh, Google Maps Pro and uh, you can then draw uh, over the roof lines and it'll automatically equate the self uh, the uh, square footage of the self storage facilities in a market. So you can get pretty darn close to dialing it in um, either if you wanna do it yourself or hiring a virtual assistant to you know back into those numbers and get close. We can also, you can hire consultants uh, that can do a desktop study for you and uh, for a few hundred dollars, if you're really serious about a site um, in the beginning, they will do that for you. And then further down the road, if you're looking to develop, then you can pay a few thousand dollars and they'll they'll complete a full feasibility study to determine whether a site is worthy of building or buying in.